Shalom everyone, Marcus De Costa here. Another beautiful day, another beautiful day in the south of the UK, in the south of England, not a cloud in the sky. But I wanted to talk to you about some of the experiences, the takeaway points that I have from being a teacher, from teaching the young people. As a teacher in a classroom, you become accustomed with certain kinds of pupils, certain kinds of students. You may have a number of students who are the ones that you can go to to complete jobs. So no matter what age group you're teaching, there is a handful of students if you need a job, if you need um, something glued down, cut, you need something delivered, you need a message sent, there are a few children usually in your class who can do that. These are the children who are reliable, um, trustworthy, and so on and so forth. There are usually a handful of children who are completely opposite. Who, when you're talking, when you're doing the teach part of the lesson, they're doing everything but listen. They're doing everything but listen. They're talking, they're looking out of the window, they're, um, they're daydreaming, they're messing around, etc, etc, etc. So that when it comes down to the actual task, the actual activity, they're the ones typically who have to ask you to explain it all again. They don't know what to do. Um, they're not unsure about how to complete the task. And there's a full range of differentiation that you have to use in, as a teacher. There are different sets of abilities, um, different sets of needs and so on and so forth and the way I'm looking at that takeaway is it's very applicable to the body of Messiah to a certain degree there are different kinds of people there are different administrations there are different gifts to the body there's the, there's the apostle, prophet, pastor, evangelist, teacher, there's governments, there's helps. And those things are for the edification, the perfecting of the saints. So we become one new man in the image and stature of Messiah. Now just like in the classroom, there will be people who who have no interest in learning, no interest in growing, no interest in developing. They will come to the proverbial classroom and believe they know it all. Believe the teacher is wrong and believe they don't need to listen. And the way you can tell those kind of people is oftentimes by the end result. Do they listen or do they chide? Do they bring strife? Do they bring arguments? But what about the fruit? Are they demonstrating the fruit of someone who is on the strong meat? Or are they just elders who are babes? And then you have those who coming to to the body of Messiah and have a hunger and thirst for righteousness. The Bible says on the, in the Sermon on the Mount that these people will be blessed because they've got hunger and thirst for righteousness. They shall be filled. So they are blessed. I put it to you brothers and sisters that we're all learners. There's no graduation from being a disciple. And if there is no graduation from being a disciple, then this life, brothers and sisters, is like a classroom. There is a master. 
there is a teacher and we continuously learn we learn from him we learn from the apostles that he taught we learn from the law from the prophets who are him who is him he is the word that was there in the beginning you can liken this life to a classroom to a preparation and you can liken the time you stand in front of the Messiah on the day where every word is brought into an account you can liken that to your over here we call it sats for the young people for the slightly older ones it's the GCEs or the GCSEs and A levels and your bachelor's degree your, your master's your PhD if you're not in class if you're not learning by the one who will teach you the Holy Spirit the word and the ones who he has sent and ordained to teach you and to help you and to cause you to grow to cause you to go from the milk the sincere of the milk of the word to the strong meat so you can show forth the praises of Elohim who has made you a chosen generation if you're not listening and you're not consuming that bread from heaven on the day of reckoning on the day when you are tried you're going to be ill prepared and as a teacher as a teacher you become familiar with those kind of characters even way before they get to the test so what do we do we prompt them in various different ways to to get their act together We want them to succeed as Father wants you to succeed. He's not willing that any should perish. So there are things which may take place in your life which are designed to wake you up, to wake you up, to shake you up, to cause you from, to move from that area of, of darkness and shadow into an area and a time of walking in light, walking in light. Our Father in heaven, he loves us. He's not willing that any should perish. And he desires, as it is written, to tabernacle with his people. So search yourself. Search your life. Are you one of those children in the back who's looking at the window, not paying attention? Not really on task? not really preparing, working out your salvation, not showing yourself um, to be a good student, a good disciple, because there's the test coming, what's going to happen? Are you one of those people? Or do you believe that you're putting everything you possibly can into walking this walk in accordance to the example Yeshua laid, the disciples laid. Time for us saints to check ourselves, to look at ourselves in the mirror. We've got motes in our eye, let's take them out. We've got beams in our eye, let's take them out. Maybe our brothers and sisters may help us because those who are spiritual, we carry each other's burdens. Amen. Well, I hope this teaching, <laughs> this word of encouragement for you has helped you in some way. I ask at this point that you continue to support me continue to support House of Israel London by sharing by liking by subscribing just by doing what you can do to help me and the ministry 
reach as many people with the gospel of the kingdom, reach as many people with the word. Hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy the sun if you've got it. Shalom to you all.